He said all this shit. And the church is in his room. After he said all this shit. Now, at first, I was sitting back watching. And I'm thinking like, damn, man, why are y'all over here? You know, but then you, you sometimes you got to sit back and just pay attention. No matter what he said in the past, man, or whatever it was, you know what I'm saying? Now, he understands that it's serious. But they mailed his brother to the cross about something four years ago. Of course, that's what they're going to do. See, y'all got to understand this, right? Keith, Keith was a certain type of individual on Bego. And he was a, cer a certain type of individual on Facebook. But let me tell y'all something about Keith, for those that don't know. Plenty, a lot know, a lot don't. Keith is a cool individual, homie, in real life. So, after I met Keith, homie, and got to know him, like, you feel me? Just chopping up on the phone with him, having phone conversations and meeting him in person. You know what I'm saying? Off the camera, on the camera, whatever the case may be. He really a cool individual. He's not a fucked up individual like that. He's not. He do shit for, for, for entertainment purposes. He knew, you know what I'm saying, how to get beans. He knew how to, you know what I'm saying, capitalize off the entertainment. He knew how to get the people's attention. You know what I'm saying? And then perform. He knew how to entertain, man. And it's sad and it's fucked up that he can no longer do that. What's going on? Putting the kids to sleep. Huh? Putting the kids to bed. You putting the kids to bed? Mm -hmm. Why are you putting the kids to bed? It's 8 o'clock. It's 8 o'clock? Yeah. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. You in there. Huh? I mean, what you want to do? You want to you, you wanna put the baby in the bed right here? Come back? What you want to do? Let me know. But anyway, so Keith was an entertainer, man. On Facebook, the nigga was, you know what I'm saying? He was an entertainer, man. You know what I'm saying? Even though people go through what they go through with people, you got to understand and realize that shit, this time right now is real serious, man. So all this shit that everybody going through, y'all shouldn't really be going through this shit, man, at all. You know, Beagle kind of like make us family, so to speak. You get what I'm saying? Because we all here together. You know, the comments, the trolls, the hosts, all of us. It's fucked up. You know how you, how you got some cousins you don't like? Like, I don't even like this cousin right here. Or I don't like that cousin. Like It's, 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 it's like a love and hate type of relationship on this motherfucker. You get what I'm saying? So, right now, it's just, to be on a serious note, we should just be praying for his recovery. That's in that song. We shouldn't worry about the past. And we shouldn't worry about, you know what I'm saying, anything negative pertaining to him. He got too much negative shit going on in his life already. It's like we kicking him while he's down. And we don't need to do that. You, you get what I'm saying? We don't need to do that. So let's just uplift him. Let's just pray. A lot of motherfuckers ain't going to see eye to eye. But you don't have to see eye to eye, man. Just pray. Let go and let God. That's it now. So when it's coming, when it, when, it, when it's pertaining to Him, that's all you gotta do, man. On some real shit, because you gotta think about it. What if that was you in that situation? You understand what I'm saying? Let me talk. Let me tap in on this right fast. I heard a message today, a recording on me, and it, it was kind of disturbing. It was Eb, you know what I mean? And, and Eb, I fuck with you. I, I, you know, I do. You know what I mean? We, we never had no run in, no problems, and nothing like that. But I'm, I'm gonna say this, right? I heard that recording, man, and that shit kind of disturbed me, dude. Like for real, like I really didn't understand why you said what you said, or why you went so in depth with that, homie. I don't understand the purpose of that. You know what I mean? When you were just now, you was you was right here, peace and blessings. You were all for, you know what I'm saying, uh his best interest. So what made you, you know what I'm saying? What made you just slip like that? Was it the trolls? Was it the people in the comments? What was it, man? Like for real. 
I don't understand why, the, like, the hate, what's, the, the hate is so, like, it's so strong, man. When when people be, and the cold thing about it is people be already going, you have enough on your plate. That's how she really, yeah, but you, like, to be honest with you, Ab, you have enough on your plate right now, sweetheart. You have enough on your plate going, you already going through a lot on your plate. You know what I'm saying? And I pray for your situation also. About what you got going on in your life, man. Like real shit. We got to learn to separate the two. This shit is irritating me. We got to learn to separate the two. You know, that shit kind of fucked me up. It was disturbing, dude. I'm like, damn, come on, Ed. You better than that. You, you, you better than that, man. Don't let B go... Make decisions on how you going to respond. Put your big girl panties on and stand on that shit. You know what's right. You, you can't, your, your, your heart can't be that cold, man. Whereas, you know, a motherfucker down and, and, and the, the things you say. Like, come on, man. 